Good morning, everyone. Well, uh, one of the things that uh, we didn't talk about yet as we build a uh, team win recovery project device tree from scratch is uh, what do you do if you actually have the kernel source available? So we looked at what do we do if we don't have the kernel source available and how we can break down that boot image and how we can take that kernel out of there extracted from that boot image and uh, use the pre-built kernel in our device tree and build with that and we were able to successfully get uh, the device to build um, unfortunately I'm still having some trouble with the screen in that the screen is displaying properly but it's not allowing me to touch the buttons uh, doing a little bit of research actually I found that it's interesting to note a lot of blue phones uh, they actually and I don't know 100% if this is true or not, but they actually put a flag in there into the kernel source saying, hey, if you're going to use this um, on a um, in recovery mode, we're going to go ahead and turn off the touch input for the touch screen because the recovery mode that comes with Android by uh, stock build is actually utilizing the up and down um, of the... Uh, volume controls and then pushing the power button to actually choose your choice. Now that's interesting. I don't think that's actually the case here because I was able to insert uh, the kernel that we had uh, into the other um, build which is how I modified after breaking down the recovery image and putting it back together with the right kernel in there and flashing that to the phone and, and using that uh, so I don't think that was the problem and then also uh, trying the other way around trying to take that kernel and put it onto this phone uh, did not make the screen work either so a little bit of uh, of a confusion there um, but that is a possibility of something you might run into they say it's incredibly common on blue phones and in particular on their MediaTek models where it's actually specified in the kernel that the touch screen won't work um, you know uh, if you're in recovery mode now that's not necessarily the case in every every situation but they said a good way to test that would be to actually flash the recovery partition to the boot partition um, which typically is the same size and then just try to boot up like normal which will immediately go to a the boot partition which is the recovery partition now and then uh, it should work there so that's something you can test if you run into that yourself but fortunately we are able to find the uh, kernel source for the blue life XL um, this uh, XDA member here um, Aditya KR has very graciously posted links to a bunch of uh, blue devices for the source code for the kernels and some of these actually have more than just the kernel source code a few of these actually have some uh, light uh, device trees of a sort that uh, you might find useful as well so if you're working on a blue phone uh, be sure to uh, look up this one right here I'll try to remember to put a link in the strip description here but uh, if you just um, search for blue and blue vivo kernel sources on XDA um, you'll find this article or excuse me this thread by Aditya KR and so a big shout out to to them and I did slap their thanks button I recommend you do as well but uh, in here we also found the life XL now this says L0051 but once I went to uh, to the site where he links it here uh, through um, oh, what's it called uh, yes mega um, once you get there uh, then you can see the different uh, versions and it actually has for the life XL whether it's the L0050 and we'll just bring it up here so I can show you there's the L0050 and the L0051 kernel as well so um, very uh, very handy to download both of those and to be able to take a look at them so be sure to uh, check this out especially if you're working with blue phones a lot of lot of kernel information here but so if you have that kernel then uh, we want to talk about how we insert that into our build so I'm in the uh, minimal uh, twerp tree we have the kernel we have we I just made a folder called it blue 
blue and then here's the kernel that I got from the um, open source code after extracting that L0050 and 51 uh, source code. So you just take that and um, where am I going here? Here's where I'm going. All right, and so then you, I just copied that folder over here, called it kernel. We're going to change the name of that to life XL. And here we are in the life XL kernel. So um, what we can do now is go back to our build tree. So we go to our device, blue, life XL. And we go back to our board config.make. And in here, do a little specifying here. Let's find okay. So we have our kernel right here. And what you won't want to do is uh use these make boot image arguments that should get built by itself. Uh, you shouldn't have to do a custom boot image make, although you could still use these, um, but, uh, but hopefully just compiling the kernel from source will be a much better way to go. And then, uh, let's see, uses pre-built kernel, we would take that out of our options. We would save this. We're going to add a couple lines here, and we're going to take a look at the Moto Shamu just to give us an idea of what those lines look like. And we see board config, and we see somewhere in here. go a little slower here. And I'm not seeing it in here. So let's go ahead and open up. We'll go to our downloads and look at the Wico tree. All right, so we have this target kernel source, target kernel config. So we're going to copy that. And we're back in our original board config.make. Go to our kernel section here. We're going to put those in there. So where we're going, kernel source code is going to be kernel. It's going to be blue. And we're going to say the life XL. So with that life XL, we got a readme file that said the um, name of the kernel config that we were looking for. And so we're going to take a look at that. It's in arch arm configs. And what we have here is uh, MSM 8916 L5261 uh, config. So what we can do is we'll copy that, and we'll put that right here. So now we save that. Now notice also for the, the Wico, it is building this, but it's still using its own custom uh, boot make image. And you could do that as well if you think that you need it, uh, something you could test out both ways to see what uh, what works better or what doesn't um, you know because there might be a reason they have a custom make uh, make boot image um, but uh, I don't think that we're going to need it I don't think we need to specify the make boot image arguments because I think when it compiles the kernel it should get those things uh, on its own so let's see if uh, if this works just as is so let's go to our terminal we're going to jump back into our minimal 
Teamwind Recovery Project. We're going to um, set up our build environment setup. And again, if you need help with this, I have videos showing uh, what we're doing at the lower level, what's going on here. Uh, we're just trying with the basics here. Um, we see number 84, this lunch OmniLife XL.eng. That's what we want to build. And then we're going to make clean and make our recovery image. So I'll let this run for a minute. If we have any errors, I'll be sure to show those. And if not, I will pick this back up when it is done building, and we'll take a look at what we got.